hello, I mean maybe I'm Mario. <laughs> and I just recognize if I open the window the light just perfect so I decide I mix another video. <laughs> but this time I put on my <laughs> cardigan because yeah, I'm always cold, what can I say? My piano teacher is always when he touch my hand. I'm like a snake. <laughs> okay, that was when I was seven years old, but I guess on this case it's nothing changed. <laughs> so, I'm 41 Hungarian painter who live in Südtirol in Italy, if you don't know. And uh, Let's see! <laughs> Write me a comment if you have anything which you have ID or experience because I care. And um, I will talk about it the next time. Today I was thinking about a <laughs> question which I, it was bothering me when I was watching other YouTubers. Yeah, I'm watching other YouTubers because I'm really interested even their experiences, mostly who are around my age, around the world, uh, because here I don't have any support group or uh, community center where LGBT has meetings, so I have no information from personally from other ones. And I find so fascinating <laughs> this way uh, to get some overview about my own self experiences. And I hope my experiences, and I really try to focus the differences between mine and the other ones, are uh, help for other ones too, because that's the point. Uh, maybe to recognize uh, we are not alone because yeah like I just said in my previous video I'm just fighting with depression because I'm always alone so and you know when you have some problem in front of you you always think why you are the only one who faced with that adapter that you have realized and it's usually help you are not the only one <laughs> It's possible to survive. We have to survive. <laughs> we have to step over. So let's be positively. Rock up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, first of all, I would like to feature the other ones which I was watching nowadays, like Nikki Fire, Fire Snow. Fire Snow. Uh, she is really great. Um, she is in the beginning of the transition, but um, she has completely different life experience like me. So it's really fascinating to make comparison. Or for me was so. I hope for other ones too. And my other favorite <laughs> is is Jack Rabbit. So Jackie Rabbit. Sorry. Uh, she got this funny name because she was eating all the time carrots. So the rabbit is not that which I took the first time and it's my guilt. I have a kind of fantasy which sometimes manages me on the wrong direction. <laughs> but she is great too and, and they are on my my future channel list so Let's check out. They are completely different person, and they are both really uh, fascinating story. <laughs> so if you only want some some time to entertain yourself, I guess it's also really great to check their videos. And mine one, yeah, I have absolute different life story. <laughs> I don't think it's better or worse, but it's so funny because, you know, the media, it makes one kind of impression who is like attention there and which kind of experiences we have and how we suffer or are we not. 
fluffer or nothing but there's a really limited stereotypes which is going on now and when you're looking for real people okay the celebrities also real people but when you look the variety is much wider like with everything in reality <laughs> than you even could imagine so when I was watching yeah, these other ones, not only these two, and uh, mostly when I was reading on Facebook in supporting groups, comments and, and other ones' stories, um, I get, uh, sometimes have read, I have, s <laughs> I have read sometimes, uh, so for some of us, it's a real problem to uh, talk about them from themselves uh, normally. And they was attacked actually, uh, sophisticated, but uh, they, the other ones, talked. Uh, it's a kind of problem. And I have to say, yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> but I guess it's pretty natural from touch and I with gender dysphoria. I'm not in that case. But I wish to, in behalf of these people, to talk because I was really searching for answers for, for what's going on, you know, with us. And I have found a really great uh, uh, theater online here in YouTube. I featured also. You can check. She's really great. She's simple. She explained really well things, and she explained also why it's so heavy for us, or from some of us to accept uh, ourselves, and that makes us uh, continuously um, a kind of uh, shame. Again, I'm not that case, but how she explained, and really to check out, uh, I guess one of the video was about her. Cause the thing like tension there, and it's also important because I was talking about differences between possessor and transgender, in my opinion. When I publish this video, I get so many <laughs> pro and contra opinion, you know, and I was mostly surprised because I didn't often cause the says I didn't say it's a bad thing. I simply makes a real definition about differences. But yeah, transgender sometimes, and mostly in the beginning when we find out our identity, gender identity, we cause their thing. But why we are cause the thing? Because we still think we are men. It's for me, it's a real fact. I mean, you know, okay, I don't stuck here in this topic. She explained us really well. And she also explained this problem which we face immediately when we start with cause the thing to recognize our gender identity. We feel this shame. Because she explained, most of these people, and again, it's not like me because I was resting, I have told you, from high school like woman, so I have experience. But who lived like a man for many, many years and made all the standards which was the expectation of society, tried hiddenly to find our, their identity dressed up buy online clothes. I knew that's already a really challenging thing because you have to find out your style, you have to find out your material, you have to find out minimum your size and there are so many kind of size system. You know, also in Europe, Italian, European, British, that's minimum the three, or USA. So that's already for only in Europe. And even the size systems are different by brands. So I can really imagine uh, when you buy online the first time 
things which you think this can look so good or which you think makes you feel good. So I really think when you buy the first time these things which you think makes you super feminine because these things you always wanted to try and so on and when you watch yourself dressed up the first time in the mirror that can be a shocking experience and that's what this theater explained and that bring you back because you judge yourself you have your cultural background, you have your own gender identity which you build up for many many years and you distrust yourself and, and you are shame and that can bring you back from the beginning, from the gender dysphoria to not able to find out your own gender identity for long long months or half year or even a year then you try again so I just wanted to point out uh, when we are on the way and when somebody really lived like a man before I really can understand how hard can be to let away your own view how you talk you have to look you have to do things you have to react for things and be find your own way to find your real way who you are so I really can understand uh, the background of the feeling of a continuously shame yeah my English is limited I wish to be more sophisticated because it's not the shame like children feel it's the uh, it's, um, not feeling good enough to represent to be in public let's say like this I guess it's a better and always self-aware too much self-aware to be good enough for the public to look the other ones you how you wish to be looked like and that's a huge stress it's a huge pressure and it's really hard uh, to find a way out and have finally peace with yourself <laughs> which usually transition is really hard uh, you will not like how, who you imagined before but let's now to talk a little professional language about art it's like an artwork. Let's think on us like everyone is a painting because I'm a painter. When I start the painting, I have a kind of imagination what I wish to do. Uh, but when I start actually the painting after the first sketches, the painting always builds up itself. I always achieve a stage like during transition we achieve a stage we do self-aware, we do self-critic and we going forward on the process like with paintings I check oh this color is too bright or this too yellowish or that part could be more detailed and the painting starts to go on this own way <laughs> So not even I'm, I'm the one who really managed to be ready the paintings because the painting how it starts to be work out and it's like how we has to start to work out it um, itself starts to reveal and when you find the right direction you always have to be aware of that you just start to feel happiness you start to feel, yeah, I see what I want to see. You didn't really know what you have expected, but when it starts to be ready, you feel it's fine. And you will be like this. When you are more close to the end of the journey, or it's not that, it's actually it's a new beginning of a new life, but even for a painting it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> but
But when you are really ready for the new starts and you start to be ready, then when you make your peace. So pride. <laughs> you know, this journey, this story which we make for ourselves to, to fight with our demons, with our own enemies which is inside and ours, uh, for me, I think, yeah, we can be proud of. But be careful. <laughs> Because that's the other part which I usually see. We get so many discrimination and so many harm on our journey and sometimes also self-harm, uh, which makes us oversensitive. And mostly before you achieve this peace, uh, it's really hard to manage. Because when you are achieved to be in peace with yourself and you think you are fine and, and you are ready for live the life which you, you meant to be live, it's lost importance see what happened before. <laughs> Sorry, it's like this. But uh, when you are on the way, uh, you are oversensitive and you can be also sometimes brutally offensive with others. Uh, I also experience that on myself, so I'm not better with one inch. No way. <laughs> I'm only a human. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when we are in public and became oversensitive, um, yeah, that can be counterproductive uh, in the society between friends and family and every people which we are uh, important for us. So, so <laughs> be careful. I wanted to tell about this uh, a really fun example, and that's not a gendarme. It's actually. When I have met with my first love, which also we had the first time love, <laughs> he was a writer, a pretty good poet in Hungary, but he was discriminated in many ways because he was gypsy. Yeah, in Hungary is nothing worse than to be gypsy and gay. <laughs> and he came from poor background. But he was really talented and skilled and, and he had to overcompensate and he had this theory about uh, <laughs> to be gay is genetically, you know, in politics, in media, they always took in France or why it exists uh, differences in nature, which the question is stupid, uh, I'm sorry, silly. <laughs> The nature is full of diversity, so I don't think so. It's anything wrong, but it's nothing black and blue, or how they say in English. Because in Hungarian we say black and white. So, with diversity, I guess it's pretty natural, but he had to overcompose it because he had a pretty difficult life. And he found this theory somewhere, you know, we are genetically uh, determined to be gay, because like I said, I was categorized before that family in gay. And um, he talked, it also mean we are superior, because we had to fight so much and we are so talented and so so better than other people and I told him I'm sorry but I don't think so it's really like this because if we're talking about not sexuality or gender identity but for example alcoholism you have a big chance if your family had big chance had addition to be alcoholist uh, you can have the attitude but what makes really you alcoholist it's really depend on so many things you cannot maybe only determine for, for one fact uh, you became alcoholist i guess it's the same with gender identity 
We have no idea. <laughs> I don't like scientific explanation of why some things which we have no idea. We maybe catch a few parts, but you know, uh, I never really imagine we will able to understand the whole world. So sure, we have to look in for answer, but maybe we get some thoughts. <laughs> And he had this idea really seriously talked. So that was the next same example about when we think you will know uh, only because we are uh, need to compensate all the attack which we got during life and disadvantage. He makes a theory for ourselves to to give a kind of power for us to survive and but I hope, you know, we can find something more <laughs> not defensive one, because I think and that's a little philosophy of my one until I don't have anyone uh, I can live how I would like but it's really important to don't harm anyone else so <laughs> So yeah, pride. I still think uh, we can be pride and we have to forget the shame. But I guess it's naturally come with time, like I said, when we achieve our balance, which is our target to achieve, to our peace for living, we just want to be normal and we just want to be acquired. And that, then the pride, like, um, Soci uh, an act in society, in public place, became really important. And now I'm not talking about pride. Like, uh, like the feeling, I'm talking about the movement. Because, yeah, I'm living in North Italy, in Italy, uh, not Italian citizen, and on gender. <laughs> I faced with many problems uh, and I could say my homeland even worst uh, which I think in a normal world or a world which is for me normal <laughs> let's say like that it should be not a problem like I don't want anything extra you know I just want to work like everyone else I just want family like everyone else I want to live with my partner I want children that's for most of the people is absolute natural. Why? For us it's not a possibility and of course when it comes in issue in a debut between transgender and not transgender, they said why we want extra, extra care, why we want extra right, why we want uh, extra attention. I'm sorry. It's not because we are discriminated, or not only because, but because legally these things is not possible. We have to be in politic, we have to be in public to achieve these things, which for them is natural because they never had to fight for. But that's when you do nothing, you will not be able to achieve. <laughs> so it's a kind of oxymoron, you know. You have to do something for it, and you have to work for it, you have to be in the public. So you cannot do like an average people, an average citizens to to do your own life, then when you simply cannot do. <laughs> and back to lockdown, yeah, it's upset me pretty much also if I look in a good mood. But that's the case with now with the lockdown for everyone. I mean you cannot live normal. You cannot live like a human view. Okay, my region is really extreme. I have to accept that, but... Ah, sorry, I, I changed a little the topic. <laughs> I have read, because I was curious about what was the mentality for people who lived between the two worldwides or under the two worldwides uh, why things could happen, how it happened and it's pretty interesting because now with the COVID I have the same questions uh, we're living in fear 
we die, but actually we don't living. I mean, I hardly can call this living, I'm sorry. Yeah, our physical existence is in a room, yeah. But that's not life. <laughs> and I was wondering, but yeah, that's the problem when generations are disappearing. The generation who lived in World War or before, they had much more the chance for dying, just going for the shop to buy bread. That was real, every day, facing with the possibility you don't go home. Fortunately, we are not in this situation, but it didn't stop you know, living. Now we have the fear, and it stop, makes us stop living. Okay, <laughs> that was our for today. <laughs> It's really not about the pride, but it's about pride too. Because you know, you cannot be in public place with other people like you. You cannot organize your groups to act something also politically, or you just have to each other because you cannot step out from the threat. So it actually makes it impossible also if you are attention there, for example, and you have hard times to go out and meet with other ones and find support. I know that Zoom and, and other internet possibilities, but sometimes, you know, a hug, a warm hug, is me much more than than that, that, and that. Oh, well, that's my opinion. <laughs> But let's finish this opos positive. If you have any idea uh, how I could make it different this topic, or of course opinion, just share with me. I will read because I care. Thumbs up if you like this again my blooding experience, <laughs> which I'm doing. And subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.